Managing all your cables on a standing desk can be really difficult. Everything under the desktop is typically exposed, so you need to find ways to hide your cable mess. This guide will show you how I made my setup as clean as possible while still allowing for the desk to move up and down. If you have a fixed height desk, basically everything in this video will still apply. Your job will just be a little bit easier. Before you get started working on your desk, purchase any products you plan to use while putting everything together. I centered this project around the ultimate cable management box by BTOD. I haven't been able to find any other product on the market that can hold so many cables, power strips, power bricks. At home, I even put an ethernet splitter right inside my box. And if your desk has a matching color and finish, the box looks like it's just part of the desk. I get it though, at about $200, it's not gonna fit in everyone's budget. If that's the case, then I suggest looking into a server cable management rack or possibly using a combination of the plastic boxes or trays you can find on Amazon. With the box being able to do the majority of the work, I was able to go cheap with the rest of my products. I bought the Cord Management Organizer Kit on Amazon for $16, which supplied me with all the clips, straps, and holders I will need. Finally, I purchased a 10 foot long, one inch wide cable sleeve from Alex Tech, also on Amazon, to cover all my vertical cables. We'll link the products below if you wanna check out exactly what I used. I started off by putting my monitors on their monitor arms and tried to get a general idea of where all my other items would be placed. I centered my laptop on the desk so I could have a dock connected directly behind it. I always like to use some sort of dock or hub so I have the least amount of cables connected directly to my laptop. Knowing the placement of my items, it was time to connect the cable box to the bottom of the desk. I plan to keep this desk pushed up against a wall, so I mounted the box with the opening to the front of the desk for easy access. If you have a solid wood top that you're concerned about splitting, I recommend pre-drilling the holes before screwing it into the desk. You can mark the depth that you want to drill by putting tape on your drill bit. The cable box is simple to attach with the included self-tapping screws, but it was nice to have an extra hand to help hold it in place while I screwed it in. As I began routing all my cables, I made sure each item had enough cable length to get where they needed to be. Anything connected to the computer was sent out of the center of the box towards the docking location. I routed each of the power cables through the closest openings in the box and then sent them to the power strip. Part of the planning at this stage is making sure your power strip can handle all the items that need to be powered. Using the large box, I knew I would be able to fit my power strip right inside the box. This meant power cables only needed to be long enough to go into the box and reach the power strip rather than go all the way down to the outlet. When working with a standing desk, it's important that your power strip has a long cord. So even when the desk is fully extended, the cord can reach the outlet. For any of the excessively long cables, I like to use Velcro straps to bundle them up. This isn't really necessary because the box is so large, but I'm picky enough about my cables that I like them to be nice and organized even if I can't see them. The goal is to get as many of the cords into the box as possible, and then to organize the remainder of the cables that are running to and from the box. This is where the set I purchased from Amazon really came into play. I use one of the short cable sleeves in the set to bundle all my monitor cables together. I cut the sleeve to length and then I melted the ends of the sleeve so it didn't continue to fray. I wanted to get my dock location confirmed so I could strap down all the cables running to and from it. At first I had my dock attached horizontally, but I realized that some of the cables would stick up too high and you could see it from the front of the desk. So I rotated the dock so the cable connections would be hidden behind the desk. I use the silicone holders to attach the speaker cables to the desk. I want them to be tight enough to avoid any messiness, but also slack enough to not put any tension on the connections. I used a cable strap to hold the power, display, and USB cables going into the dock. I want those cables to remain in place so when I take my dock with me somewhere and then return to my desk, it's easy to reconnect them. Something to remember with your standing desk is you will have some additional power, motor, and controller cables underneath the desk. So when it came time to clean up the underside of the desk, there were several extra cables I needed to strap down. I used the adhesive strips to keep any loose cables tight up against the bottom of the desk. In my experience, these clips work great and can last a long time, just so long as they aren't holding too much weight or have a lot of pressure pulling against them. If you only have one cable traveling vertically from your desk, I personally think that looks fine. But when you have additional cables, it starts to look a little sloppy. This setup needed to be hardwired to our network, so I ran an ethernet cable up to the dock. To hide these cables, I used a 10 foot long, one inch wide cable sleeve from Amazon. 
These sleeves are super easy to use and allow the cables to flex and move as the desk is going up and down. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. The cable box makes managing all the cables under a standing desk super easy. Now is it perfect? Not exactly. But since I'm always tinkering with my desk setups, I'll continue to try new things with this desk. For more ideas and tips, check out my next video.